Your media, where you are. Shalom, my soul family, all you beautiful beings. What's up? And welcome back to the spiritual bar. Click, click, click. <laughs> the spiritual bar is a safe space for us to cultivate and find our healing and spiritual awakening all through holistic wellness, self-development, and everything that gets us closer to God. The intention is ascension, vibrate higher through Shalom. I'm so excited to be back with you, my soul family. Of course, my name is Pumudo Pumpai Munonde. So chill, grab your tea. We've got our teas. I have a beautiful, so serene, so lovely, energetically and physically guest in the studio today. So you don't want to go anywhere. My lovely guest today is living a plant-based life and we're going to chat all about it. I'm going to give her a moment to introduce her lovely self to everybody. Plant-based memes, Shabani. Welcome to the spiritual bar. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for having me, sister. Um, my name is Shabani Majala. Mm -hmm. um, as you said, plant-based memes. Mm -hmm. um, I used to go by the name Mims Miller. Yeah. Uh, but um, as I transitioned mm -hmm. into a new lifestyle, mm -hmm. you know, I understood the importance of actually embracing my actual name, mm -hmm. my real name, because mm -hmm. Klabane, it's not fancy. It's not, you know, it's mm -hmm. not a cool name. Mm -hmm. So I used to not like it, mm -hmm. but um, I am right now. So I'm a mother of two. I have an 11 year old Aww. and a 17 month old baby. Yeah. Um, two girls. Yeah. It's just a queen lineage. Yes. <laughs> it's a queen lineage. I love that. And I think there's so much to a name. You know, we've been taught that, especially when it comes to African names, it's not a cool thing to, to say or to have because a lot of people can't pronounce it. Absolutely. But we're living in a time where, listen, you got to learn. We're all learning. So you got to learn how to say my name. <laughs> yes. And if you can't say it, you know, I'm not going to give you an alternative I'm mm. at that stage. You know, mm. I'm Chavani. There's not always what's your Christian name and mm. whatnot, you know. So I've just been giving people that who I am. I am Chavani. I love it. What does your name mean? Um, a warrior. Wow. Yes. You see, why would you want to hide that? Well, I didn't know better. Yeah. <laughs> now I know better. I love it. I love it. I like walk into every room being like, listen, I'm here. <laughs> the warriors here. <laughs> I love it. So, I mean, we are still in the midst of a pandemic with the people like to believe it or not. And a lot of people are living their life as if we've just gone through this, but we, we actually haven't. And the pandemic has seen a lot of people change their lifestyle because people are getting sick and a lot of things became unavailable to us over the course of time during the harder lockdown, um, level fives and all of that. And people are starting to see the importance of returning back to a holistic, healthy lifestyle. And a lot of people, there's been a trend emerging as well on a more plant-based lifestyle. But I know for you, this is how you live. So I just want to know, in your view, what does a plant-based lifestyle look like to you? So how I became plant-based, actually, it's a very funny story mm. because, I mean, I haven't been for that long. Okay. Um, how, I, how long have you been plant-based for? Three years. Okay, it's quite um, a bit. It's quite so, a bit. Nipsey Hussle, I don't know if you know him. Definitely. There was a whole lot of controversy regarding his death. Yes. And I didn't know who he was. Yeah. But then I came across an article, Nipsey Hussle killed, I love conspiracy. <laughs> and then, uh, then I found a guy called Dr. Sebi. Yes. Which I yes. didn't know about him. Yes. So I researched, like, who's this doctor? Mm -hmm. You know, why would they kill a young, mm -hmm. talented man mm. then i researched dr sebi mm. then i literally spent like months mm. just like watching his videos and whatever mm. he was saying the message he was saying he spoke to me mm. you know and that made me ask myself questions mm. how am i eating mm. you know why am i eating one two three mm. so that's how i i, I changed mm. um with me it wasn't difficult yeah. i literally just like decided, okay, I'm not having meat. Mm. I'm not having starch. Mm. You know, I'm going to try have alkaline. So I'm not plant-based because mm -hmm. I don't eat beyond meat stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm alkaline, plant-based. Mm -hmm. But I don't put it out there because 
people get confused. Yes. You know, so I try most of the foods that he suggests we don't have here. Mm-hmm. So I try to work with what we have. It's indigenous to your location. Yes, 100%, exactly. 100%. Exactly. I love that. You are right. There's a lot of labels and terms vegan vegetarian pescatarian this and that and i think that's the other misconception that a lot of people have they think being plant-based means that you can just remove the meat off of a pizza and then there's the plant-based type of thing but um it's 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 deeper than that it's a whole lifestyle change and it also encapsulates products and um you yourself your energy what you're eating i love that i love that you mentioned nipsey and dr sebi favorites of mine as well they they are also part of why i also got into a more i wouldn't say i'm uh, strictly plant-based either but i'm more conscious about what i put inside my body and what I have around me as well and that's where I started learning about your bladder racks like we were speaking about your burdock the herbs, and yes. all the essential herbs that you need that can transform your lives that have all these minerals and everything that you need to survive and you're from Limpopo right Africa's Eden <laughs> that's our home so one thing I love about Vayani is that all the veggies and things that we have it's 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 in such abundance that you don't really feel like you're missing out on the things that you might see uh, other alkaline chefs or um, other people, you know, having. So I think we 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 had a good foundation that we come from a place like Limpopo. I'll speak on it because that's what I know. That's where I'm from. I, I don't know about you. You can tell us about how you grew up a little bit. But I know in our house, it wasn't meat seven days a week already. No, no, no. Like, Wogugu and everybody would already introduce Moro, Honabusha, or Hukuliwa Topi, various different things. But you would never, like, I think meat was like an occasion. You would have it maybe on a Sunday and things yes, like that. Or- like, you know, Christmas, that's when yeah. you feast. Like, yeah. even rice, uh, because rice has a lot of starch. Mm. Growing up, we didn't have all of that. Mm. But, you know, we used to think, oh, we are poor. All yeah, of that, you yeah, know? right. Because, yeah, because you watch TV, then what you see, it's mm. not what you have around. Yes, growing up in Limpopo was amazing mm. because we had everything mm. like you said in abundance mm. um, my mother used to we used to go to mashimung i don't yeah. know what's that in english okay uh where we used to grow like you know our food and everything that we needed mm. so mm. Mm. we don't have to go to like a supermarket mm-hmm. you know the cabbage the spinach morojos mm. you know in your backyard. It's right there. Yeah. So, but then I moved to Bulugwane because mm. I grew outside of Bulugwane. You okay. know, then you start you start becoming um, like uh, the people. Your environment. Your environment. Yeah. Exactly. You know, yeah. you forget, okay, how, how did you grow up? Mm. You know, like your pizza is convenient. Yes. Everything becomes convenient. Yes. You don't need to cook. You know, you just order. You want everything you know. fast. Right now, I'm hungry. I just want to eat. Exactly. Mm. So, me transitioning actually like i was like but i've been living like Mm. this you know this is how i grew up you Mm -hmm. know like the spinach the um, the veggies Mm -hmm. you know my plate was always full of veggies Mm. and meat was never i think that's why it was so easy for me to transition yeah because i didn't grow up with like meat yeah all of that stuff so It made it very easy. I love it. But then I do understand when people say they struggle Mm -hmm. and I tell people just take it easy, Mm. do what you can. You know, I have friends that I think because they see how I live and Mm -hmm. then they're like, oh, okay, I want, I want, you know, but it's not that easy. I tell them, but I'm always there to say, take your time, Yes. you know, do what you can. That's, that's beautiful. I mean, nothing, I don't think anything worth having comes easy. This is a popular saying. And I think especially when it comes to your life, your health, you, your entire well-being, there has to be a little bit extra effort and a little bit extra intention in you saying, listen, I would love to eat healthier, but I live a busy lifestyle. I'm working from nine to five. And then from nine to five, I have another job and another job. It's like, then prepare. So I, I think if you really want to live a more healthier lifestyle, it's it's really up to you to give that extra bit of effort, to give that extra little bit of intention into what you want to attain as well. And I think a lot of people as well, mm, 
they kind of look for a replacement <laughs> of meat and it's don't go into it doing that don't don't go into it looking for a replacement of cheese of butter all those um other things that are all, all the meat proteins that are not necessarily the best for everybody but i can relate with some of your friends because um there's quite a few people that will say okay so if i'm not having my fish where am i getting my proteins from what would you say to somebody who says that okay so another thing is what is protein mm. you know uh, I would suggest they do research what is protein because mm. most of the time we just go with the word like protein this pro but you don't even know what is protein yeah but just to make it short yeah um, chickpeas have a lot of protein that's mm -hmm. why like a lot of like vegetables mm. do have the protein that you need enough mm -hmm. because if you think about it where do the animals get their protein? Mm -hmm. You know, mm. so you're getting it directly from plants, mm. what my, Mother Nature has provided. Yeah. It becomes easier. So it's just research, mm. you know, don't be lazy. Mm. Um, my favorite saying goes by if you don't make time mm -hmm. for the things that, you know, that you like, yeah. sickness is going to force you to make time. So if you can't make time for you, mm. you know, Sickness is going to force you. Mm. So you don't want that. You don't want to, now you are sick. Mm. It's like, okay, what do I need? What is my body lacking? You know, do while you still can. I love that. Yeah. Research, take your time and know your body. We are different. So naturally, there's some people born allergic to even meats, meat-based products. Um, so it since the beginning of time you can't tell me that people have suffered completely if they didn't if they had a shortage of some kind of animal that's just my opinion that's just my <laughs> opinion everybody has their own and we are entitled to it but i love that i love that research and take your time know yourself know what your body wants and don't just take what you're told don't just take what you see on tv don't just take one one opinion of ah, oh, you know what i had this kind of thing in my life and nah i can't survive without meat or anything yeah. like that so do you think that uh, a plant-based lifestyle equates to a healthy lifestyle absolutely not yes <laughs> No, and just a few days ago, there was a tweet. Someone mm -hmm. tagged me because they know I'm plant-based. Like, mm -hmm. what do I think? And I, I said, I can't say because yeah. I don't know where this person was coming from was mm. saying that it doesn't equate to a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. because potatoes are full of starch mm -hmm. and they are plant-based. That's the thing. While you're still on potatoes, I don't like this thing. It's like the only vegetable people know is potato. There's, there's so many. Absolutely. Well, now people have discovered kale. That's yeah, why we're always out of kale, kale at the shops. I love <laughs> kale too. But I'm like, oh, now we all know about kale. But there's more. There's more to life than potatoes. <laughs> there's a whole lot of vegetables that, like I said, I don't mm. know that we had in South Africa. Mm. And I started going to the farmer's markets. Yes. And, you know, there's Greek uh, spaza shops. Yes. The corner shops. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, this they have it here. Yes. And before it's like, I mean, if you shop at you know who, uh -huh. yeah, you're not gonna find certain vegetables. Mm. So yes, potato is yeah, it's not healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Full uh. of starch and starch does not belong in our bodies. Uh -huh. So back to research, mm. educate yourself. So you you can't walk around like, oh, I'm just eating Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. potatoes and what are some of your favorite veggies besides kale yeah kale literally i always have kale, kale is the bomb <laughs> yes and i like also avocados mm -hmm. um <laughs> now it's just like i need to think no. but yeah yeah kale avocado the greens you did say that you're more alkaline um yeah so I don't have a lot. Mm -hmm. um, rocket. Yes. Um, watercress. Nice. Um, baby tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. I love My it. My salads, cucumbers. Mm. And I recently found that we actually have seeded cucumbers in South Africa, mm. which I could never find before. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we are stuck with English cucumber and it's not the only one. That's true. That's true. That's yeah. very true. We had this conversation the one time with my sister and we had we were having an array of carrots. 
And these purple carrots, these yellow carrots, carrots are not just orange. Mm-hmm. There's a variety yeah, I'm of... I'm not it. even going to comment about the carrots. Right. <laughs> because there's a lot. There's a lot of these things. And uh, even peas, these purple peas, I had mm-hmm. no idea. But it's fitting because God created this vast, amazing, beautiful earth. And we've been given so much to live with you're not supposed to just restrict yourself to one way no 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 offense to anybody who's not living a plant-based lifestyle you know we're all entitled to what we feel suits our body and us however um in my experience i feel being more conscious about what i put in my body and being more alkaline and choosing the good vegetables good herbs good everything to to take into my body it's helped me concentrate more it's helped me combat a lot of um, illnesses like the blood pressure issue that i've had it's been under more control that i've i've turned to more vegetables and things like that and fruits but even with my spiritual elevation taking in when i when i feel disorientated i go back to thinking okay what did i eat yesterday why am i feeling this way you know it starts there with the food so what what do you think with regards to that do you think what we take in the lifestyle that we live can directly impact our spiritual life yes it does Mm. because everything has energy yes so if you're gonna consume meat yeah you know not that it's gonna block um the energy that you receive but Mm. that you don't know how it was slotted you know how it was prepared before it was put on your plate Mm. so you don't know how much trauma went into Mm. into what you're eating Mm. i never understood halal Mm. you know why um, muslims would only eat like halal food Mm -hmm. but now i understand Mm. you know so you have to be conscious Mm. of what you are putting in your body Mm. so you're able to to connect with with nature Mm. you know because that affects your how you vibrate yeah you know you're taking the vibrations of what you're eating and it comes together with your own vibrations exactly so you have to really really be conscious yeah. you what? have to be conscious you have to be conscious because you hear a lot of interesting stories for lack of a better word where a cow was um very ill and it had cancer or something like that they'll just literally cut off that portion and then still sell this other but it's like no it's the whole cow the, it's the whole cow yes and Insane. if you're not preparing like i never used to cook mm. i used to hate cooking mm. but since i've been plant-based I cook. I cook 98% of the time because it's not easy to also get Mm takeouts or go out um, because they're going to serve me like potato something. Yeah. uh, Now I see the things she cooks. You you guys need to follow her. You cook really nice stuff. Thank you. Very nice. It's very creative. People just assume that eating healthy is literally a salad every single day. A salad and a potato every day and it's not There's so much that can go into that. Dr. Oz actually once had a a challenge where there was these four women that went on a plant-based lifestyle for 21 days because 21 days is supposedly how long it takes to create a habit. And three out of the four ladies experienced not just weight loss, but a drastic positive change in the entire health, in the entire well-being. The other lady also had an issue with BP. And it had already gone down and subsided within those 21 days of consistently checking. But another um, thing that they focused on was they actually found out how it's not that difficult to have meals to make, especially when you have a family to feed. And it's quick. I know that can be an excuse for people. And you're a mom. Yeah. So what are some of the challenges that you may go through when it comes to living a plant-based lifestyle, like and maybe kids, kids parties, when your child is invited to a party and then you get there and are you guys catered for? <laughs> no, but you see, my daughter is 11. Mm. So obviously I transitioned while she was a big girl. Yes. So when it's just me mm-hmm. and her and her sister and when my partner, my partner still eats meat yeah, and cheese, yeah. you know, 
I'm, I tried and yeah. I've just decided I'm just going to let him be. Mm. So my daughter eats what I eat. And when he's around, she'll have a little bit of meat. So she's not, I'm not going to say she's plant-based 100%. Okay. So when we go out, but what I like is that she sees what I eat. Yeah. She knows this is how mommy eats. Because I also run. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't force her. You live a very active fit lifestyle. She doesn't like running. Yeah. So I don't force her. But like she sees. I'm just hoping when she's older, mm. 18, 16, you know, she'll be able to to take that, mm -hmm. you know, okay, my mother used to do one, two, three. So when I, I, I work with what people have, mm -hmm. I mean, you can invite me to a party. Hmm. If there's a little bit of lettuce, I'll eat that. And yeah. I've learned to just... Like, not complain. Yeah. And be quiet and just eat whatever. So, when I go out, mm. weddings, normally just pub, spinach, cabbage, mm. that's me. Mm. And mm. I'm happy, mm. you know. So, because everyone is like, oh, here she's coming. You know, she's she wants specific mushrooms. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I'll eat whatever that's there. You know, there's always mm. spinach. Yes. There's always cabbage. Mm -hmm. And I eat what people have. Mm. And that's it. With the 17-month Luna, that's mm. her name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's 100%. Yeah. And on her first birthday, I actually made her like, a 100% plant-based cake. Oh, interesting. What what went into that? It was uh, spell flour. Okay. No, almonds okay. are not really mm. alkaline. Mm. So it was like spell flour, chickpea flour, mm. dates to give it like the, sweet. the sweetness. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, no, it was amazing. That's so interesting. That's really interesting. Wow. I love that. And yeah. I, I love that you are showing them um, how you live and you're not necessarily enforcing it, especially on the older one. And that's how kids learn by seeing. You have an interesting story to tell us about another reason why you transitioned. Yes. Okay. I mean, it is interesting yeah. and sad. And also very sad, yeah. At the same time. Mm -hmm. um, so when I was very young, I lost mm -hmm. both my parents. Mm -hmm. um, my mother, I was 16. My dad, I was 19. My and babe. they both had high blood pressure, diabetes, hypertension, mm -hmm. and all of that. So that actually motivated me to, to change my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm a mother, yeah, because I would want to live for my kids, yeah, you know, be there, be able to, to see them grow. Because yeah. every day, it's like, you know, I think how it would it would have been, mm. you know, my mother to have them here. Yeah. Yes, so. oh, my condolences, my love. Uh, um, that's such an important point to stress out because a lot of our our parents they're so used to popping a pill for whatever or living the way that was preached to them growing up in, in the in, in the generation that they grew up in. So for us, we, we touched on it earlier, how living a plant-based or a healthier lifestyle doesn't just incorporate food, but also what you're putting on your body, the things you use, because ultimately this all contributes to a more peaceful and good environment, right? And you have a lovely range of organic products um, from your company, your business, Luna Light. I love it. It's named after your child. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Such a beautiful name. Please tell us a little bit more about that. Um, okay, so Luna Light, it's actually called Luna Light Naturals. Luna Light Naturals. Yes, because okay. I wanted to focus on what you put on your body, yeah. also what you put in. Yeah. So for now, I have the unrefined shea butter. Yes. Because I also just found out that skin is mm -hmm. also like mm -hmm. an organ on its own, mm. you know? So you need to be able what you like, know what you are feeding mm. on what you're putting on your skin. So there's, it's literally just raw unrefined shea butter. Yes. Which has a lot, a lot of benefits. And another thing, which I think a lot of people don't know is that it has a natural SPF. Mm. So when you have this on, there's no need to put, um, a lot of sunscreen. sunscreen. I don't want to say chemicals, but yeah. they do have chemicals. I love it. I love it. And it says right here in your ingredients, like it's literally just your butter, which I love. Yes. There's no other additives or anything like that. No. So for people with sensitive skin, this would also be perfect. It's people perfect with dry for skin, um, for body, skin, hair, everything. I love it. Mm. I love it. I love the name. I love Lunar Light. What inspired this? Um, Can I open it? Yes. Can you smell it? Yeah. It's just going to have a very... 
natural smell that I wish, I wish they could smell it <laughs> yeah so it smells so good my daughter's pregnancy actually like while I was pregnant with her yeah. that more like inspired me because I used this during my pregnancy yes. and I did not get stretch marks it's a fact actually I didn't get any Ladies. stretch marks and with her since she was born she didn't have eczemas and that's the only thing I've ever put on her skin. Mm. So I wanted to share with people what worked for me, mm. you know, and it's right here. I love it. I love it. And you also have the African black soap. Yes. What goes into that? And what um, does that help with? It's another natural product. You know, it's plantain skin, cocoa pods, and that shea butter also mm -hmm. go in there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just really good for skin. If you have sensitive skin, also, no perfumes yeah. or anything. So no fragrances or yeah. anything like that. It's great. I love, I love it. it. I love it too. And I'm so excited to take my <laughs> own set home because I'm out of sheer butter. So, ladies, you also heard it. Um, it also helped you during pregnancy with the stretch marks. With I know as a it's a big issue amongst yeah. our fellow queens and with eczema because I know even one of my nephews had eczema and then we changed to more natural products the coconut oils, just a little bit of that. So, but we hadn't uh, tried the shea butter. So it's very interesting that yeah, you say no, that. You learn something new every single day. I love it. I love it. I love it. Where can people find you and see your beautiful lifestyle that you live and find your amazing natural products? Okay. So Luna Light Natural. So currently I only have a Facebook page and Instagram page. Mm -hmm which is Lunar Light Naturals uh, on Instagram and the same on Facebook. And then me, my plant-based lifestyle, you can find me uh, plant-based mims. I am also on Twitter, plant-based plant mims and Facebook, not so active, but I think I'm there. Thank you so much, Shavani, for your time, your energy, your presence, and sharing your beautiful light with us through Luna Light Naturals and just your experience as a plant-based human in this life, uh, well, spirit in this human experience. Human experience. <laughs> yes. yes. Before I let you go, I'm very curious and I want to know what does your self-care routine look like? Just give us a little insight on that. Okay. I'm a runner, as I've mentioned before, so... Mm -hmm doing like a quick five kilometers 14 kilometers every but day every second day okay you know, that's self-care because you know self-care just simply means do what you love and you know so but if i want to relax unwind mm. you know just having like a bath mm -hmm. which i would put epsom salt mm lemons mm. a lot of people don't know that lemon actually helps keep the bad energy away mm. and light some incense mm -hmm. candles and lock the door keep the kids <laughs> i mean they don't keep knocking like mommy this mommy that yeah but yeah that's just how i quiet you know i love it and then you top it up with of course luna light naturals hello <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, man. I loved it. I really enjoyed today's episode and I hope you did too. Before we leave, I have this Bible verse for our Consider This Moment today. Today's Consider This Moment is from Genesis 1 verse 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in which the fruit of the tree a yielding seed to you. It shall be meat. I love you and I wish your cup continues to overflow from me. Don't forget the vibes. The intention is ascension by Red Higher through Shalom. Always stay tuned to www.she24.co.za and at your media. And you can follow me for some more everyday interaction at Pumpai on all social media. Lots of love and Shalom. <laughs>